but <laughs> I completed it. And I do not feel like a 65 year old woman. I was considering getting 15 cats and naming myself Maureen, but after doing Spider Man, um, I don't feel like that anymore. <laughs> Ooh, what's up, guys? It is officially weekend. I'm done with work and I am home relaxing. Well, I'm not actually going to relax. I'm going to do Spider Man. Um, I think I need to take this out of the packaging so you guys can get a uh, clear view of uh, this one we're going to do. It's 50 by 40 centimeters and it's a it's quite difficult actually to get a superhero diamond art so when i saw this i just had to have it let's hope i'm gonna have fun <laughs> a lot of the same colors so let's hope i'm not gonna have the same issues i had with the uh tiger one that i did but uh, i will monitor the whole process so now it's friday so let's see on what day I'm going to end or how many days after, but let me show you what's inside. Okay, it doesn't look like I can take the little Spider-Man picture out of the plastic. It's taped in there pretty good. Oh yes. Okay, so let's start with the uh, least favorite. <laughs> and it is um, this little normal pet that you get with every single one of these that you buy, the green tray, the pink pen, and then the wax. So I'm going to open it just to show you guys. But um, as I mentioned a couple of times before, I am not a fan of this little pink stylus. And uh, this is quite a big one, so if I had to use only that pink little stylus, I will be having bruises like I had before using only that. And then we've got our little pink wax. We'll probably use the pink wax even though I've got a lot of wax. I've got uh, quite a variety actually. I've got this in blue as well. And the blue actually tends to work better, strangely enough. And then you've got this little green tray that you use to put in your little diamond dots and then obviously you pick it up with your stylus and the wax but I will be using my bigger tray that I bought separately and now the exciting part the actual canvas Spider-Man Wow. So there's a bit of glare going on, but I think you guys get a pretty good idea of what our Spider-Man looks like. So imagine what this is going to look like afterwards. Guys, I, I really can't wait. But I'm going to take off the plastic. Hopefully you will get less of a glare. Well, that didn't help a lot, did it? <laughs> but anyway, there is Spider-Man. Now, I just need to find a uh, Superman one. Because from Marvel, Spider-Man is my favorite, and from DC, Superman is my favorite, so I'm going to be looking for the Superman one. 
and then also included obviously are the different beads that you will be using so this is also going to glare a lot but it just gives you an idea of what this actually looks like and then you just follow basically the numbers or letters on this according to that chart you get right there so it's very straightforward but uh, I will try and you know take videos in between after I completed a certain number or a letter uh, or a color and then we will see what the end result looks like and more importantly did I enjoy it I think that's probably the most important thing at this stage I don't want another tiger incident <laughs> but okay guys let's get started and here we've got the chart so say for instance this one is number 11 and then we go look for number 11 and it says D and then you start filling in all the D's with your relevant diamonds okay guys so let's get started Okay, so, unlike my previous diamond art thing, weirdly enough, this one's longer. Okay, obviously it's bigger. This is a 30 by 40 centimeter, but it took me about, I would say, just over a week to complete. But uh, can I just add? I did not work on this every single day of the week though. Um, I worked on it when I got a chance and I love every single second of it. And we finally got the end result. Yes. I will be framing this. Alright, let me show you guys. I am so proud of this. I love doing, you know, diamond art like this. I have mentioned before, I'm not one for fairies and unicorns, stuff like that. So getting diamond art in the form of a superhero is awesome. And uh, I have mentioned, I will be on the lookout for, uh, but, uh, Sorry, Superman. This is my Spider-Man. Favorite Marvel character, and obviously. Uh, Superman being my favorite DC character. Okay, well, on the online shopping sites that I use, I cannot find Superman. But I will come across him somewhere along the line. But um, I'm just so happy. I mean, wow. I am amazed at the turnout of colors, especially having um, <laughs> this as a as an example of a um, uh, Spider-Man. Can we all agree? It's really faded. So, well, doesn't actually matter. Like I'm gonna chuck this anyway. Blue stuck really well. 
um, I did not have a situation where diamonds were falling off like it with the previous one. This one, as soon as I stick it on, it stays there. And uh, yeah, also the colors very much the same, especially the background, but uh, it did not bother me because I enjoyed it so much. I don't know why. This appealed to me so much and the tiger didn't. It doesn't make sense though. But I completed it. And I do not feel like a 65 year old woman. I was considering getting 15 cats and naming myself Maureen. But after doing Spider Man, um, I don't feel like that anymore. <laughs> so, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed my video. And um, I think I'm going to take a small break from the whole diamond art thing. Um, I'm either going to do a colored pencil drawing with my oil pencils or some scratch art. Hmm. We'll see you guys. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next one.